I am James Taliento, and in this tutorial, I am going to introduce you to Awesome and OSEC and instruct you as to how you can set up both Linux based and Windows based OSEC agents and have those agents communicate with Awesome. Um, so, what is Awesome or O S S I M? It stands for Open Source Security Information Management, and it is maintained by Alien Vault, who are the original authors. It is a SIEM, or Security Information and Event Management Tool, which is used to correlate logs gathered from assets to provide the security data. Think of it like a hub where all of your detection tools can report back to. That would include your host and network-based intrusion detection systems, vulnerability scanners, uh, network monitoring agents, etc. Um, the nice thing about Awesome is that it provides you with a clean web-based interface that displays your security data visually in a very organized manner. Moving on to OSEC, what is OSEC? OSEC is an open source cross-platform host-based intrusion detection system that is maintained by Trend Micro. There is an agent for just about every OS flavor out there with slight differences in the features for each, but overall it performs log analysis integrity checking, rootkit detection, and a really fun feature known as active response, which I will get into in another video. So first things first, uh, we have to configure the agents from within Awesome. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to SSH into our Awesome machine. As you can see, my IP address is 10.0.0.7. I know this is bad, but it's a it's a demo. Okay, so we're going to jailbreak this appliance. Yes. What you want to do is move on over to far uh, OSEC bin. If you do a quick listing, you'll see everything that's in there. There's a lot of stuff going on. But don't worry about that right now. Um, the most important thing that we need to do is manage agents, which is right over here. So manage agents. Let's fire that up. Okay, and clearly we don't have any agents, so what do we want to add? We want to add our Linux machine first. So I'm going to call it sent OS server. Why not? All right. And the address of this box is 10.0.8. Fine, that's great. Excellent. And we're going to add one more machine. It's going to be our Windows machine. Okay, excellent. Okay, now we're ready to add our CentOS agent. So let's fire up a new tab in the terminal. I know this is bad, but for the purposes of this demo, it works. Okay. So, um, there are a few repositories that we're going to need to add. They are the Pell repository, Remy, and then Atomic. Uh, I am very lazy and am not going to type them out, so I'm opting for the copy and paste method. But I will definitely include all of these links in the description. This is just installing them, or adding them rather. And atomic. Okay. Great. So now we're going to install the agent. Okay, perfect. So next we want to navigate to the var OSEC directory. 
you'll see the structure here. Um, we want to go into bin. And the first thing we want to do is configure OSEC. So OSEC configure. All right, and we know this is an agent. And for the purpose, purposes of this demo, I'm not going to do uh, email notifications. Yes, we want integrity checking. Yes, rootkit detection. Uh, we're not going to enable active response at this time. I'm going to save that for another video. Okay, yes. All right. Excellent. So go, let's go take a look at our configuration file. And just so you see, this is the directory that I'm in. Uh, I'm now going into the etc directory. Okay. So what we need to do here is add our server IP address. All right, server, oh, step back, it's client. Okay, now my server IP is 10.0.0.7. Okay, 10.0.0.7. Save that file. And let's go back to the bin directory. Okay, and we want to manage the client and import the gate very simple to do. So we'll go back over to awesome and we have this option here to extract key for an agent. So let's extract the key for the CentOS server that we set up. Okay, that's number 002. Copy and paste. Excellent, everything looks right. Okay, we can quit this, and we'll see there's another tool in here, OSEC control. So what we're going to do is we're going to start OSEC. Okay, you see this error, error duplicated directory given, etc, and bin. Um, sometimes you do get these errors, the quick fix is just to um, remove the agent from here and then to re-add the agent and then import the key again. But it looks like it's running, let's see. Uh, where am I? Let uh, me just go back to here. Var, OSEC, bin, uh, OSEC, control, status. All right, we're running. Okay, so now that our uh, CentOS agent is installed and configured, we're going to move on to our Windows installation. So I fired up my Windows virtual machine, uh, I'm running Windows Server 2008, let's close this. Again, for the purposes of this video, I've already downloaded the agent installer, and it's very straightforward, typical Windows install. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to enter in our IP. 10007, that's our awesome IP, and let's insert our key. So again, we're going to extract our key. This time it's machine number three, or agent number three. Copy and... Okay, save that. Everything looks good. Great. Let's start it. Okay. After installing the OSEC agent on our uh, client machines, what we want to do is let's exit this first off, and we want to test for visibility. We want to make sure that we are capturing information from those agents. So let's go into the, the web interface, 
Uh, we're going to go over to environment and then detection. And this is Alien Vault 4.4, which was just upgraded today. Let's give this a minute and we're going to see what the agent information displays for us. It should say that both of these agents are active. Okay, here we go. CentOS server, active. Windows 2008 server, active. So it looks like everything was a success. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, this was a very basic tutorial. Um, what's to come? I'm going to discuss OSEC and configuring active response and also capturing snort data from PFSense on Awesome.